By grace of Roma, for twelve moons hence, thou art tribune of plebs. <sighs> About time. I need a drink. Indeed, sir. Perhaps after the meeting. Cicero. My dear Atia, a pleasure. Forgive us for imposing at such a ludicrous hour. Not at all. I adore it. The secrecy, the intrigue. It's most thrilling. Comprehend, woman. This meeting is invisible. Be assured, Cato. I do not see you. General Antony, we are... Oh, God, your beauty is painful. You are the crucifix of Venus. Let me die in your arms. <laughs> Sister Antony. Good evening to you all. General Antony. Tribune, Antony, if you please. You are inside the sacred precincts of Rome, but yet you wear the bloody red cloak of a soldier. Che brutta figura. It completely fell from my mind. I'm most extremely sorry. Will you forgive me, friend Cato? At you, please, you take this and burn it. That's not necessary. Is it not? Oh. Bene. Then let's stop all this blathering and get down to business, shall we? Blathering, you say? What a congregation of heroes. Such vim. I feel like Helen of Troy. Would you adjourn to the courtyard? Speak, young Marcus. What have you to tell us? I have been delegated by Caesar to negotiate a compromise. Caesar wishes to avoid bloodshed. He wishes to be seen as a man of reason and probity. Therefore, when his present term as governor of Gaul has ended, he is willing to accept command of a single legion province. Illyria, by preference. I, I don't understand. Command of a province. So he will have legal immunity, so that none of you rascals can go dragging him through the courts. We are here to discuss the terms of Caesar's resignation. He could have avoided prosecution by accepting a few years' banishment. Banishment for what? For fomenting a tyranny, illegal warfare, theft, murder, treason. And what should be your punishment, Pompey? For betraying a friend, for deserting the cause of your people, for allying yourself with these so-called noblemen. What punishment for you? Impudent whelp! The man's term of office ends in two weeks. We say six months. Two weeks! He sits alone in the venner with one mutinous skeleton of a legion, and he dares to dictate terms to me. Caesar has many more legions than the 13th. On the far side of the Alps. Winter does not last forever. Spring comes, snows melt. That's a threat. I assure you it is no threat. Snows always melt. If he does not get a province. Caesar will take all measures required to protect both his interests and those of the Republic. I am grieved and surprised. I'd hoped we would have a rational negotiation. If that is his last word, we shall go. Then we have no more business. Caesar is bluffing. He wishes to appear supremely confident. Evidently, he's desperately weak, weaker than we'd thought. This is a last-ditch attempt to frighten us into making concessions while he still has the semblance of an army. He's weak, Cicero, dying. Is that not when all the proverbs tell us to be wary? Does not the dying serpent bite deepest? 